trying to fucking tell us that this is fucking 150 test. Two I use a growth does this? You look like this? Ah, Mr. Jordan Oakley. First off, great to meet you, sir. I've actually seen some of your videos. People send them to me with you calling out people for being not natty, for lying about what they're on. And that's cool, man. Hey, I, I've done the videos. I've done the natty or not videos. I've progressed beyond that because I don't need to do it. I just don't. I own multiple successful companies. I'm an IFBB pro bodybuilder, although I have to work my way up. I'm not a very good one yet, but I promise everybody that I will work my way up. I'll be competing again in 61 weeks at the Chicago Pro in 2024. And I promise you that I will place very well because I have my mindset on it. Now, I just wanted to kind of address this video. I know that you do these videos to get more views. I know that you do these videos to get people like me to react to them. And even though my views are absolute garbage, I still have a bigger reach than you. So me addressing these actually helps you get more views. And I want you to be successful. I truly do. I'm not saying that to be facetious. I'm not saying that to be condescending. I'm saying that because I want everyone to be successful. You seem like a nice guy. You're just trying to find your way on the internet. You're trying to find your shtick. You're trying to find your, na your niche. And I'm good with that. And I actually wanted to do you a favor and, and talk about your video. Now, when I, um, I was very happy this weekend, you know, I went to the New York Pro and I do think I could have, I could have done better on stage. I don't think I peaked as good as I could, but I think I was about 95% there. I'm still learning how to do this whole carb up thing and, and all that. And I'm older and I took seven years off of competing. So, um, I think I nailed it at Masters USA. I think I was at 95. I was, I was good. I looked really good. So uh, uh, the placings were right where they needed to be. I deserved last place. Okay, I did. But that just gives me something to work for. And that's why I compete, Jordan. I compete so I could show the kids that I coach and I can show my children that even if you don't have the best circumstances, I work long hours. Up until the week before the show, I was traveling an average of three to four days a week. It's not an excuse. When you get on stage and you're against people who do this for a living, they don't ask you how many days a week, how many hours a week you work. You're just getting up there with your peers and you're competing and the winner wins and the loser loses. And I'm a loser. I lost, but I'm a winner because I got on a pro stage after earning my pro card. I didn't just walk away after earning my pro card. I had the worst circumstances going into the show for travel and work, yet I still did it. Not only that, I did it with my beautiful daughter, Cammie, uh, at my side. And I spent a day with, with amazing friends and I feel great. I've never been more proud of myself. So when you wake up on Sunday morning after a show and about 20 people send you a video of someone just kind of kind of crapping on you, it kind of sucks a little bit. And even if you try to go, ha ha, that's funny, you realize that not only is this guy calling you a liar, insinuating that you're a liar, but also that some of my students, some of the kids I coach might see this and they will start to think ill of me which is why I wanted to kind of address this and that's fine. And as a social media personality that you are, you know, I understand your, your need to call out the fact that I was really dry and vascular in that picture. Now I want to give you a little background of me. I've always been dry and vascular. I was natural up to age of 27. Um, I don't need to go into my story. Let's just say that TRT is my thing. Uh, I'm 42 years old. I run multiple eight figure plus businesses. I don't need to risk my life for money, for fame. I could sell, I could liquidate now and retire. That's not bragging. That's just telling you why I don't take risks that other bodybuilders might take. And I respect them for taking it because it's what they do. For me, think about bodybuilding for me as weekend softball for most soccer dads, right? Like a lot of my peers, a lot of people who work with my companies, they go out and they travel to Disney. It's crazy. They're really good at this adult softball thing. And they go and they spend money and time and effort and resources to play this adult softball. And they crush it. Tiger Fitness has an amazing, amazing softball team. We destroy everyone in the greater Cincinnati area. But at the end of the day, dude, it's just a hobby. And for me, it's not a career. It's a hobby. I can step out of the fitness industry tomorrow and be just fine. That's not bragging. That's just where I am. So instead of sitting here and I'm not going to, again, I wish you all the best, Jordan, and I hope this video helps you grow. 
I encourage people to follow you. I think if they want to watch you call people out on being natty or not, I, 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 I pray for you. I pray. I, I hope that you do very well. I hope you get rich as F. I want you to make so much money you don't know what to do with it. I want you to buy a Lambo just for the tax write-off. That's how rich I want you to get. I want the best for you. But also want to extend an invite, Jordan. And I'm not going to be that guy who offer. I'm not going to pay your travel. I'm not going to, I'm not going to pay for your hotel. I've done that before, and it just looks, it looks like I'm flexing, and I'm not flexing at all. I did flex on a New York Pro stage, though. That was pretty awesome. By the way, best experience of my life. Oh, my God, it was amazing. Jordan, I, I just want to invite you. Now, I always tell people it's about hard work, diet, dedication, blah, blah, blah. Jordan, I, I want to meet you, and I want to film it, and I want us to train together, and I want you to spend the day with me. I want to get to know you, and I really think that it would be awesome for you, and honestly, it will be awesome for me. I would not mind answering these questions and accusations in person. I would not mind looking you in the eye. I would not mind... You coming out and visiting our facility and watching us coach kids at Legacy at Carbon and, and, and maybe even going to an SC soccer game, which is my favorite thing to do on the weekends. I love, I have, I'm a season ticket holder. I love it. I'd love to invite you out. Uh, I, live in, uh, I live in Brentwood, Tennessee. I have a good group rate at the Homewood Suites right down the road, right by the highway. Um, I own a, I own a place called Legacy at Carbon. It is a youth training facility within Carbon Performance. Um, Chris Bumstead's actually going to be here on July 8th, uh, July 7th or 8th for our grand reopening. Um, we redid the place. It's amazing. I'd love to give you a tour. Um, I'm not going to pay your way, but I will give you my time, which is worth more than anything I can spend. My time is everything because the time I don't spend working, I like to spend with my family. I like to spend with the students that I coach. Um, but I'd like to send an invite. Um, I'll give you, I'll go ahead. My email is Mark, M-A-R-C at tigerfitness.com, M-A-R-C at tigerfitness.com. I want to invite you out to Franklin, Tennessee, and I want to train with you. And I want you to see how hard I train. And I want you to eat with me. And I want you to see how much I eat. And I want to sit down. And I want to talk to you and explain everything to you. And I know I don't owe you this. I know you don't owe me anything. Uh, but I do think that these Natty or Not videos are a bit grifty, might I say. Instead of creating content that helps people reach their goals, instead of creating content about undulation, about diet, about insulin sensitivity, we're simply doing quick eight-second videos to poop on someone who feels really good about what they did. I'm very proud of that condition. Now, for, I don't look like that all the time, Jordan. I literally got out of an Epsom salt bath. I got done coaching four hours, four hours. And I trained earlier that day in Seamus's garage. It was 90 degrees in there. I was dehydrated. And afterwards, I drank a big glass of water with some, um, with some machine fuel in it and natural light. And I ate some food and the veins weren't that crazy because your body isn't static. Your body's not static. Your body doesn't stay the same. It's dynamic. But after that bath, I looked crazy. I even said in the comments, this is after a 20 minute Epsom salt bath because my legs were inflamed from the hard leg day I had. And I was a week out from a show, so I was very low body fat. But Jordan, I just want to extend this invite to you. You know, I, I don't think we do enough of this. And, and I, I also have a lot of people come out and visit. Um, I don't know you well enough to let you stay at my house or else I would. No, that's not going to happen. Um, but maybe next time I'd love to get to know you, Jordan. Um, I, I really feel that we have a lot in common. I really feel that we both love the sport. Uh, I just feel that we're at different stages in our career where I'm more focused on helping people and you're more focused on the views, right? Me, I don't care. I don't care. Some of my Instagram posts get 50 friggin' likes. Some get 50,000. I don't care. I post pictures of my dog. I post pictures. It's my family. At the end of the day, it's my Instagram page. I just post stuff that I want to post. There's no algorithm. There's no like, no, I post stuff for my friends and family to see. And if everybody else sees it, that's fine. I do market on there. Absolutely. I, got, I sell a lot of stuff. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, where I, it's where I like to be. It's where I like to have fun. So Jordan, I would like to invite you out to, um, to Franklin, Tennessee. Um, you'd fly into Nashville, which is BNA. And it'd be amazing. I'm only about 25 minutes from Nashville. 
We're about, if you want to come during a, a Nashville SC soccer game, uh, you can find tickets easily. There's usually seats next to us. You can probably migrate down. Um, those are usually like Saturday nights, right? They have some weekday games, but I have to wake up early, so I don't usually go. But Jordan, I want you to come out, man. I want you to come out. I want to meet you. I really do. I'm extending the invite. All right, brother? Um, Mark, M-A-R-C at TigerFitness.com. If you DM me, I'll give you my cell phone. I'm going to coordinate it. Um, so if, if you're going to call somebody out on the internet, just realize they might be nice enough to take you up on that. And I'd love to train with you. Uh, we can do whatever body part you want. Um, normally, I do a, a split where it's like I'll do like a, a upper body anterior focus day, then a lower body anterior focus day, then an upper body posterior focus, then a lower body posterior focus. So any of those, just come and join me. Anyway, man, thank you so much for watching. Jordan, uh, please feel free to, um, to hit me up. I really appreciate you doing the video because, again, it, it doesn't hurt me at all. Um, it's just I, I, do, I, I do think that when my kids see that, that it, it's not good for me. Um, not, not from a publicity standpoint. I mean, obviously, bodybuilders are known for taking a lot of steroids. Um, but from like my life standpoint, I, I don't want to be known as the guy in Brentwood, Tennessee on a ton of steroids. Um, it's not what I do. And if you see me in clothes, you probably wouldn't guess um, that I'm on even TRT. Most the average person doesn't know, doesn't care. But you seem to care a lot. And I'd love to. I'll buy you lunch, too. My favorite place is Kava. It's another place called Jonathan's, which is amazing. I just ate there right now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. And um, Jordan, I'm waiting on you. That's not a game. I used to have to go through dozens of bottles of vitamins, of supplements, just to get what I need. Look, I'm busy. I'm running multiple businesses. I'm coaching. I'm a professional bodybuilder getting ready for my first pro show. I don't have time to sit there and do all that. I got to go. I'm on the go all the time. That is why I created MTS Nutrition Immortal. Here's how they look. This, all it takes this replaces dozens of bottles of supplements. And let me tell you exactly what this has. It has probiotics, greens, liver detox, joint support, cardiovascular support, and the most complete multivitamin, multi-mineral supplement ever created. If you have a busy life or you simply want more time to do the things you love and be able to travel by just taking one simple little pack with you, Immortals for you.